All right, so this is a really short video. It's pretty late, that's why it's dark. I'm headed to pick up my son from basketball training and I wanted to share something that happened today and I'll make it quick as always. Um, so we had a unit that had high suction pressure and a normal head pressure and it ended up being a piston problem. So I wanted to talk to you about this. Um, so you know you have the orifice or the piston and of course it has to be the correct size you want to use the piston that's on the outdoor unit in this case what we found out was one of the installers installed the system apparently the piston fell out when he installed it and when he put it back in he actually put it in backwards so what happens when you have a piston that's in backwards the refrigerant will actually partially bypass the piston instead of being forced through the piston. How many times can I say the word piston in one video, right? So, um, so if you have a high suction and a normal head pressure on a brand new unit, you wanna check that that orifice slash piston is not backwards. So that's today's video. What happens when a piston is put in backwards? All right, hope you learned something. Talk to you later.